Hey everyone, Tragic MTG here with something non-MTG related. Uh, I was at Goodwill, uh, as I often am, searching for magic cards, and I never find those. But every once in a while, I find other kinds of cards, like baseball cards, and comic cards, and Pokemon, and, and other things. And usually I just pass them up, but um, in this instance... This card caught my eye. I know that it's not worth anything, but to me it's got a little bit of nostalgia. Back when I was a young lad, the first cards I ever got into, of course, were baseball cards, like I think a lot of people did back in the early 90s, late 80s. And of course that hobby just kind of imploded on itself, like uh, comic books and uh, other hobbies at the time, through to overprinting. So. It's still got a little bit of nostalgia for me, so I thought, hey, what the heck, for $2.99, let's pick it up and see what else is in there. You can kind of see that there's some other non-game and non-sport card related things in there. So I thought it might be kind of interesting to just open it up and see. And if you're still watching this video at this point, you're probably one of uh, the people that uh, like to listen to me drone on and on about nothing. So I appreciate sticking around, all two of you. Let's take a look and see what's in this bag of cards. You know what? Let me see. It's like stapled. Do I nearly need to cut it? I'll give it a little slice and see what we got. I thought it was kind of interesting. It, it seems like there were some sleeved up cards. Uh, obviously at the time this Mark McGuire card might have been worth a few bucks. I think now you'd be very hard pressed to give it away for 50 cents or something. Um, and I kind of noticed there was like a little booklet, so I wanted to see what else was in here. Hmm, okay, well there's a, okay, a sport flick, I think is what those are called. Let's see, oh, I got an Empire Strikes Back card. That's interesting. Let's go through this. Um, never seen a sleeve book like this before. Okay, let's see, what do we got there? Little Hot Shots, is that Cal Ripken Jr.? Let me see, am I right? There's Cal Ripken Jr. right there. Oh my gosh, how do these even open up? Little Hot Shots, Donruss Triple Play. Uh, when this photo was taken, no one ever thought he'd be challenging Lou Gehrig's consecutive game record. Yeah, it's Cal Ripken. That's hilarious. I've never seen those before. 1992 Leaf. I think I uh, was collecting baseball cards from like 1989 to 1992 ish or so and I kind of gave up on those I got into comic books and then didn't get into magic until later like 97 or so so this is interesting yes yeah, score Dick Wakefield rookies to remember all right so someone had a little booklet of their favorite cards I always thought these art cards and again that Mark McGuire since it had like a painting basically that made it more important than the photograph version right so um it must be worth something a jeff bagwell gallery of stars that's great i do remember some of this stuff david justice was big back then too so they got like a sport flick in i don't know if these are really sport flicks they their score right so jose canseco there he is. I, I had this card too, right? I think there was one year they did them like fantasy style, like he had a bionic arm or something, right? So, 1991 Fleer. There's a Baseball Heroes Willie Mays and a Ted Williams. And a Marquise Grissom, like holo holographic card. That's funny. Um, of course, the only way to have any money cards in uh in baseball cards is of course having rookie cards or an autograph or a piece of a jersey or something so these are of course not worth anything other than just having a little fun here on my channel so if you enjoyed that little trip down memory lane uh let me know down below if not give me a big thumbs down for this video because that works too uh this is kind of interesting an empire strikes back Space Paintings by Ralph McQuarrie. Rescue. Okay, there's Luke hanging out underneath uh, the Cloud City. So, And that's like uh, concept art. That's pretty cool. The man called... The man? Question mark? Called Boba Fett? Could have been 
anything else, right? Who or what is Boba Fett? Unknown. What we do know about Boba is that he's a notorious bounty hunter. Yeah, yep. We all know the story of Boba Fett at this point. Kind of a cautionary tale. So we got some more baseball cards in a little case. Looks like it might be an athletic set. Yeah. There's Ruben Sierra. Wow. Walt Weiss. Dave Henderson. I remember all these because the athletics were super hot back in 88, 89, I think, right? So this is the 93 cards. Todd Van Poppel, super hot rookie, I think, in that year. This is a rookie card. I don't know if uh, he ever went anywhere. I think not. Ricky Henderson, Hall of Famer, stole every base. Very cool. So there's that. I would have been very happy to have that back in 1993, probably. Um, a little less so now. I like the X-Men. He's an X X Men. Did you see that sunspot? Because he became a new mutant, and then part of X Force. Yeah, I know my comic books too. There's some stats on sunspot. Is a <laughs> Looney Tunes card from Upper Deck. Very cool. More Oakland Athletics. Someone was really into them. Of course, they were super hot. Mark McGuire, 1992 Comeback Player of the Year. It's easy to come back when you um, have a little extra help in the locker room. You know what I mean? So that's why you can't, it's hard to be a super big fan of baseball stars anymore because of the whole steroid thing. Oh well, your heroes are not as heroic as you think they are, right? Unless they're part of the Mutant Liberation Front or Strife. And a bunch of weird characters that Rod Liefeld made up. Here's Psylocke. That's a classic. And then, hold on. This is a card from Pro Set for uh, NFL card that tells you to study. Knowledge is power. Train your brain. Think about it. You know what I mean? There's a whole inspirational thing right there. So that's probably worth 800 bucks right there. And a boxing card. It's kind of a nice little, like, random set. You know me. I'm all about the random. So, kind of cool. Paul Gonzalez is a bantamweight. And there's all his fight stats, looks like. I, yeah, never even heard of him. The Brotherhood of Evil Mutants. Ah, oh, and then the classic. Here, this is probably the big winner right here. Wolverine with Jim Lee art. Solid. Yeah, uh, look, look, here's his stats right there. Look at his fighting ability. It's almost off the charts. It, it goes to seven, and he's right there at the top of it. That's cool. His first appearance. Which, uh, actually, yeah, Hulk number 180. I actually owned that one. It's actually the cameo. The 181 is the money comic, of course. Havoc, I like Havoc, too. Cyclops' brother. Edward Cook, he's a flyweight. Yeah, I don't follow boxing, so I don't know any, anything about that guy. Well, there you have it. Thanks for sticking around for this uh, nonsense. Um, if you are into this stuff, let me know. Maybe I'll show off some more weird stuff. I'm going to say you probably won't. So, anyway, thanks for stopping by and don't get struck by lightning.